Welcome back, everybody, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're picking up pretty much right where we left off. Uh, I did go ahead and sleep till noon uh, just to rest up our cores, uh, but one of the viewers was telling me that I need to get this uh, meat back uh, to town and sold to the butcher quick before it spoils. He's saying it takes about a day, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, pick up the uh, the campfire now, and uh, or tear down the camp, rather, and then head into town, get this sold, and then we need to get updated on our journal. Uh, we have some journal entries. And I also want to look at those um, those gunslingers uh, that we got from that quest and see what that's all about, too. So let's get going. Got a little bit of rain today. Butcher's just right over here. Wait, where am I at exactly? Oh, we're behind the... Okay, let's go over this way. Oh, I know where we are. Okay. It is in giving that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <laughs> Sounds like that so guy's getting a cold. For that is what this country needs to help each other. Good to see you back. Okay. Now, can I just talk to this guy right here? Or do I have to take everything off? Let's see. Sell. So. Oh, we got antlers too. Okay, we get a buck and five cents for those. You hear about that old we get two dollars for the carcass. One of his cows. A buck a thirty for the pelt. Okay, Let's sell both of those things. Um, can be used in crafting or sold. I kind of like to know. I don't sell them myself. Mature venison meat. You can get meat. calls to help you lure game in. 16. Bit of bait goes a long way, too. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to sell this, too, because I don't want it to go bad. But I'd like to know what we actually use these for. Wow, we didn't make a ton of money off of that deal, did we? We're going to have to do a lot of hunting. <laughs> um, but we, we need uh, I think Wasn't it like $75 to, to buy that varmint rifle? And that's the one that's going to give us better pelts, that's so we should probably work quiet. towards that. Cleanest kills, the one you never knew. What do you have for sale, by the way? Let's take a look. Salted beef, I'm salted venison. More bad than good. Okay, no, we don't need any of that right now, I don't think. We have a lot of other, like, canned food and stuff we can eat for now, just because I don't have a lot of money. Thanks for your assistance. Who's got mouths to feed, huh? Give them one of these ribs, just watch them grow. Okay, now we need to go to the stables and get a brush for Tennessee here. So let's do that next before we do anything else. How do you do? Whoa. I'm trying to read the chat and drive my horse at the same time and I'm not doing a very good job of it. Find out what's going on here. Looks like you need a lesson. Your story is nearing its end. Soft as silk. All right, so we just beat up some more Driscolls. Hold F1 for details on health. Okay, we did we just get a, we must have just got a point in health. I was kind of busy. 
punching bad guys, so I wasn't paying attention to what the thing said. Drops. Oh, wait. What do we got here? Yeah, let's loot. We got some chewing to back off of that guy. Okay, I don't think we want to trade our uh, shot, uh, our boot, our shot off for a worn cattleman revolver. We already have a cattleman anyway, so let's just loot this guy. Consume yellow tonics to fortify your bars. A fortified bar can be used for a short period. Yeah, we are, we know that. Let's get our hat. Ooh, we got some miracle tonic. Nice. Wait, that's not our hat. This is our hat. Swap. There we go. All right, let's see. Is this guy, like, dead, or is he just knocked out? Pick him up. Wait. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought, I'm, I thought that meant help him up. Uh, we better put him back down before the sheriff sees... Oh, jeez. Uh, before the sheriff sees this. Okay. Um, we can't loot him. Okay, well, at least, I don't know if these guys are dead or not, but, uh, anyway, we got, we got a little bit of justice by thumping these two O'Driscolls. <laughs> um, oh, search saddlebag. You can steal stuff from his saddlebag. Oh, we got some money off of him and some health cure and some gin. That's funny. Okay. Hey. Did we just did we just rob the innocent guy though? I don't know. Can we drink from this? Uh -uh. Okay. Yeah, but remember it's afternoon, bud. Uh, no, because it wants me to to swap, so it doesn't let me uh, just pick it up and keep the one that I have. At least I don't think it does. I don't know how you would do that. What? Wait, what did I just do? Oh, <laughs> I took cover. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, here, let's get on Tennessee. Um, Come on. I'm glad the sheriff wasn't around to see all that. But we, you know, I, as far as I'm concerned, we did a good deed because those O'Driscolls were picking on that poor feller. And uh, we we thumped him. I don't know if that if that guy's going to live or not, but. Uh... So, yeah. I know. Picked up guns, despawn. After you sleep, you have to buy or find guns. Okay. Kind of doesn't make sense. It'd be nice if we could actually loot them and then sell them, but apparently it doesn't work that way. Okay, so let's see. What do we got going on here? We got some guys there. It looks like there's a stable over that way. Let's go see what these guys are doing. Big sheep, goats, and cows. Yep. All right. Doesn't look like these guys have anything to say to us. Let's go over this way. Nope, these guys aren't the stable guys either. Okay, let's just leave Tennessee there for a moment. 
you won't believe this. I found a gold nugget the other day, and then lost it right after. Just when I thought I heard it all. <laughs> okay. Let me look at the map for a second. So this isn't showing any kind of like an icon for a person we can go to to buy the, the horse brush. <laughs> Excuse me. Dan, is this the right place or do I need to go somewhere else? It says livery feet sale sale and, oh and sale stable. Okay, boy. Uh, well, only oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. I got gotcha. you. So, um he, he said that the the stable isn't open to us yet until we do a mission. Well, I'm thinking maybe we ought to do that. Maybe we ought to start, get back and do some missions here. Um, I still want to take a look, though, at our journal. And I want to look at those um, gunslinger guys that we're supposed to go after. So let's go back to the saloon. Except I don't think we're welcome in that saloon. Because we, we tore it up. You want to fight again, man? Tommy out in the street. <laughs> He's gone funny since then. <laughs> Just move on. We don't need your type around here. All right, you know what? I'm just going to let those let that slide because we need to get some good rep going here. Oh, is that the is that the bounty um here, let's stop at the sheriff's office for a minute. That's what I'd like to do is go do some bounty hunting. I'm going to have to go take Tennessee and dip him in the river again. He's pretty dirty. Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Uh, yep. Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. Ooh, yeah, that's what we So, want. what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Fifty dollars, well, you guys. To you. That buy us our varmint rifle. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. And we need him alive. That's Ins an important point. Alive, I got it. All right, inspect the document. Wanted for capture alive. Fifty dollar reward. Benedict Albright selling harmful substances as miracle medicine. He's on the run. Thought to have remained in the vicinity of Valentine. All information or reward claims to be addressed to the Valentine Sheriff's Office. Nothing on the other side. Investigate the gorge. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, cool. So hey, we got ourselves a. A bad guy. A bad guy catching another bad guy. But we're not as bad of a bad guy as this guy. He's the worse bad guy than we are. Okay. Let's put this away. Um. So, 
here, let's look at our map for a second. So it said to go north. Okay, here he is right up here by the Dakota River. Here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to go back down to the river because we got to clean our hoss up. And then we'll follow this trail up, you know, to this uh, to this area. It looks like, well, it's putting him right inside the river there. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do it. All right, our first bounty. Oh, it gives us a, an actual trail we can follow. That's neat. Uh, but I want to get the horse cleaned up first, so let's go do that. Yeah, let's go down this way. Slow it up. And I want to catch one of those trout. The old steelhead trout, looks like. I have not figured out if I can do that, bud. Okay, let's take a look at something real quick here. Info. Whoops. Okay, so I guess he's I guess he's cleaned up. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong key. Let's go, boy. So our cores are in good shape. Our horse cores are in good shape, so let's do it. this trail. First the area to locate the bounty target. Okay, let's look at our map again for a second. So we're not quite here yet, but we're close. We need to get our, our weapons re-equipped. I don't like it that it removes our weapons, uh, you know, when we go like into town and camp and stuff. I mean, I kind of get why, but uh, let's switch to our pistol here too. Okay. Okay, so six is the bow, which we're not going to probably use for this unless we can get a silent kill. And eight's our repeater. That's probably what we're going to use. Oh, wait, we can't kill this guy. Oh, shoot, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, we're going to use our lasso. That's what we got to use. Okay, so that's the seven key. All right, remember, seven key, guys. No, that's the dynamite. Okay. So if I, if I tap seven now... Oh, it still says a horse is dirty. I guess I didn't have him in the water long enough. All right, well, we'll, we'll worry about that later. So if I tap seven now, it should bring out the lasso. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. There we go. All right. Let's uh, get the lasso out. <laughs> so we right click to aim and then left click to throw. Man, look at this trail right by the river. That is so cool. Benedict Albright. Oh, sir. <laughs> he looks like uh, him. 
Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. Uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if, if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits that I'm a scientist. <laughs> Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. <laughs> Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Please. Oh, shit. oh I did. <laughs> I didn't read the keys right. So Sorry. I was supposed to hold the mouse button and then tap the E key. He's not dead. Okay, <laughs> we can still get him. Okay, let's go. Holy crap, what just happened? Hold V to switch to the center. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that's terrible. I was trying to follow the trail. Okay, hold on. Okay, boy. I know I'm not. I'm not being a very good cowboy today. Give me a break, man. We're trying to learn this. Shit! I got across. Well, at least Tennessee's clean now. Swim to the edge. Or grab on to some. I don't even know where he's at. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hold your breath. Yeah. All right, try. Press to throw the lasso while aiming at the bounty. Okay. Let's get our lasso out. Hold to keep the bounty lassoed. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so uh, hold to keep the bounty lassoed and press four and send him here to hog time. Okay, okay. We've only done this once before, so I'm still trying to get used to everything. Who made you God, friend? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. All right, we just got ourselves 50 bucks. We didn't do it very eloquently, but... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we just thumped him. All right. Let's take you in. Yeah, we're going to loot him first. Why not? The guys are criminal anyway. Now, I'm just going to check your pockets. <laughs> okay, let's pick him up. Okay, here we go. Let's call Tennessee over here.
Okay, I'll, I'll get caught up on the chat in just a minute, you guys. Let's go take this guy back to the sheriff and turn him in. Get $50. Yep. Oh. Oh, uh, sir. I think I must be suffering from exposure. Suffer <laughs> a little longer. I'm assuming we can turn these guys in at any time of day. Oh, I seem to keep blacking out. Oh, sir, I must warn you, my temperature is subnormal. Not my problem. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to oh, me, please? Oh, sir, that guy's still standing there reading the paper? Necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Well, who made you judge? <laughs> Congressman, you reached money. Max what? Oh, I don't feel well at all. I don't know. Oh, Max, a uh, bonus, sir. uh, horse bonding? Uh, is that what that said? I didn't. I missed it. This is all right, let's go. Call. There's probably an option to let this guy go, and then he gives you pr probably some cool medicine. But I want the money right now. You more in that? Oh my lord! I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was uh, was just leaving. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Put the bounty in the holding area. Right here or in here? Yeah, I guess we just put them right. Here. Oh, oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner! I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offering? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. That was some good money, you guys. <laughs> That's way better than nothing. Oh, man, we didn't get very many of the achievements, though. Well, let's take a look at it anyway. Uh, mission brief. We <laughs> we didn't get any of them. Uh, we didn't stop him falling off the cliff. We didn't hog time within one minute and fifteen seconds, and we didn't return him in enough time either. I I mean it's probably because we we had to chase him so far away. Oh well, <laughs> it's okay. I don't care about that anyway. We got fifty dollar man. That's what that's what matters. Okay, so uh, let's see what are we gonna do now. Uh, let's go over to that saloon and. Um, I want to read our journal because we're kind of behind on the journal and check out the the gunslinger card that we got. Well, my pocket's feeling like about time we went on a tear. Ran across a path of local the other day. They won't forget the O'Driscoll name anytime soon. Ooh, more O'Driscolls? Can I get to this hitching post here? Uh, let me get to my doctor. Okay, well, I guess what we'll do time. then is just... You guys gonna fight if again? If I were you, I'd walk out of this town while you're able to. Go on! Get the hell out of my way. That's it! Uh, this is it! Son of a... Now you're rethinking your choices now! Felt like oh, air. Something going on out here. 
It doesn't seem to really be much strategy to fight. You just mash the button and try and block them, I guess. Oh, these guys are thumping me good. <laughs> yeah, all right. Dog on it. I have to say, I don't, I don't like the way the melee fighting works in this game. At least not with the way the keys are remapped. So let's just say Arthur had a bad dream. And, uh... We got a new journal entry, too. And I lost my hat. Doggone it. All I wanted to do was go in and sit down and read my journal. My hat still over here? Okay, well, let's just go on in here. Hey, weren't you the one in here talking to that feller with Jim Boy Calloway? Yep. Yeah, that's right. More like Jim Drunk Old Man Calloway. <laughs> sure seems that way. All right, let's get ourselves a beer. Have to hold it down. Damn, Fred sure don't like people looking at him funny. So you here for the auction? Because my advice would be to steer well clear of the fellow who runs that auction yard. Morris Payton's his name. Crooked as a dog's hind leg. More of a friend of the rustlers than any working man. And does Sheriff Malloy do anything about it? Of course he don't. They're all in it together. Anyways, I can see you ain't interested in any of this, so I'll just shut my mouth. Okay, let's go over and sit down at this table here. I ain't drunk, eh? Just uh, well, let us sit down. Play classic filet. Oh, no, I don't want to do that right now. We just can't pick a table and sit down somewhere? Guess not. Okay, well, um, our health core is pretty low. We should probably do something about that. So let's go here, and this is health tonics. We've got, um, let's just take all of that. There we go. Okay, we're all back in good shape here. Your last dollar or your last tooth? Anytime you want me to disabuse you, you let me know. Uh huh. Is this the guy that we got in a tussle with earlier? Careful, big man. What about you? You blind or dumb? I don't think those are the same guys. Partner? Partner? Pardon? What? Okay, um, I'm going to take a quick break from the recording here and just get caught up on chat. So, all right, so what do we got here? Um, the way you do is you go into the stables, go inside there. You can select your horse when it's stable, and you can have the option to name it there. Oh, okay, good, good. Um, but he needs to do the hunting mission first. It's closed until then. Uh, just looked it up, and that's what it said, but thank you for the confirmation. Okay, cool. That is one way to clean your horse. <laughs> I know that was terrible, wasn't it? You know, the thing about the game is sometimes you tap the button. Sometimes you have to hold the button. Sometimes you have to hold two different buttons at the same time. So I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to look and see what I'm supposed to do. And in the meantime, you know, I, <laughs> I wrecked my horse off a cliff into the river. I mean, you know, all, all in a day's work, right? Um, keep your ears peeled. When in the sheriff's, you missed info on a quest line. Is it too late to go back and get it now? 
Oh, hey, Maru. <laughs> you like my hat, huh? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Um, I'm, yeah, right. I'm becoming Arthur. Exactly. I mean, those guys that, you know, that thumped me, I mean, I was, I just, I wasn't trying to cause any trouble. I was just trying to go in there, but, uh, I guess uh, that's the way it works sometimes. Um, so Dan, can I go back into the sheriff and, and get that quest or not uh, again? Or is it, was it like a one-time thing? You like my hat, Maru? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not hearing a response from Dan, so um, hopefully we can go back in there and get it again some other time. So I want to look at my journal. If we have to just sit on our horse and read it, then we have to sit on our horse and read it. So let's do it. The guy looks creepy after you listen. You mean like the sheriff guy? Okay. Are you, you, were you talking about when I turned in the, um, uh, turned in the bad guy? Or are you talking about the first time I walked in there? Okay, well, anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's go here. Uh, no, we need to go here. So, uh, what do we got here? That's the Black Bell photograph. Okay, yeah, let's look at these photographs first. We're not really in very good light here. Okay, and we'll read this. Mary Elizabeth Coulter, the grand dame of the gunslingers, the dynamite dowager, married six times to six gentlemen, gamblers, robbers, outlaws, everyone, never divorced, dresses in her own, or no, dresses in her widow's weeds, sole remaining survivor of the Coulter Tobin gang, outlawed after robbery in Rhodes, private contract for her life or liberty, large reward. Last reported sighting near Blue Water Marsh. Do not approach, too dangerous for mere biographer. Okay, so uh, Blue Water Marsh is where we will find Black Bell. Okay, so it marks it on the map. Where? Okay, let's see if we can figure out where that's at. What's this? Oh, that's, that's Javier. Okay. I know something about Javier from... Uh, Red Dead 1. There she is. Black Bell. Okay. Oh my goodness. This this world is huge, you guys. Look at this. Goodness gracious. We've got a lot of territory that we can we can adventure in here. Let's take a look at the next one. Uh Oh, back. No, wait, what? It wasn't letting me switch. It's not letting me uh, select it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Bill Midnight. Or no, Billy Midnight. Let's read this one. Born Wilhelm Schnell, the man who killed Rabbit Matthews. Little known about Midnight before killing, thought to have been a Matthews rifle cleaner and stable boy, New Callaway then. Overnight sensation, gained national celebrity, speaking tours, then re-engagements from St. Louis to St. Dennis, San Francisco, etc. Received death threats and suffered attempts on his life. Now a reclusive, uh, now a reclusive save for regular sightings at Rhodes train station. Ask for him there. Now a reclusive save for, I, that grammar seems a little odd. But anyway, we're supposed to look for him at the road train station. That's the important part. Let's take a look at this guy again. All right. Yeah, he looks like a mean feller. Go back to our satchel. Um, Flacco Hernandez. Or Flacco, probably. 
Okay. The Terror of the Grizzlies, wanted in eight states, runs with a gang of at least ten stone-cold killers. Is that right? Raids into Annisburg, Valentine, Strawberry, and Surrounds. Gazette reports, hideout west of Coulter, deep in Grizzly Mountains. Unlikely conversationalist. Proceed with caution. So he's back up in the Grizzlies, which is where we started the game. Interesting. All right. Let's uh, check if we have one more to look at. Blackwell Hernandez's last known location is marked on the map with an FH. Emmett Granger. Okay, he's out in like a desert area, it looks like. Pervert Killer Hog Fancier. <laughs> Uh, 1888 Beaver Brook Massacre, reported sightings. 1886, Laidlaw family disappearance, rumors of involvement. 1890, the Chaparral killing suspect. 1894, uh, Foss gang arrest witness. 1895, federal pardon. Why? At present keeper of hogs near Flat Iron Lake. Interview refused. Flat Iron Lake, okay. That's where we're going to find that guy. Okay, so let's put this stuff away. I don't think it said recluse, though, me, uh, Maru. Let me look again. Unless it's a typo. That was Billy in Midnight, right? Oh, it does say recluse. Now a recluse. Save for regular sightings at roads. Okay, thought, so I think what it's saying is... Save the photo so... Oh, except for, I got you now. Now we recluse except for regular sightings at Rhodes train station. Gotcha. Okay. I was just, that wasn't registering correctly in my brain. Now I get it. Now I get it. Takes me a while sometimes, but I get it. All right. Now we're going to take a look at our journal because I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, and I think, okay, so we've already read these pages. So let's go to chapter. Horseshoe Overlook. So this is new. We haven't read anything here yet. So Arthur is a... He, he does sketches among other things here. Finally, a thaw in this god-awful weather. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Hosea seems to know the country a little. Ain't been much of a spring, now holed up at a place called Horseshoe Overlook, outside some dumpy little cattle town named Valentine. Okay, let's take a look at the next page. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier in spite of the black water and that whole mess. All right, why does that say Yarrow? Oh, right, because I... I, I sketched it. Gotcha. Okay. Creeping time. Turkey. Hitching the horse. So, oh, this is kind of neat. So when I picked this, he must have added it to the journal. And then when we shot the Tom turkeys the other day. Uh, oh, that's neat. Okay, cool. Horseshoe Overlook. Headed into Val Valentine with Uncle and the girls. Girls went scouting out work while Uncle and I had a few drinks. And he explained more of the theories on existence and barefaced lies about his past. Uh, things took a strange turn. Some fella seemed to recognize me or us from Blackwater. Guess we'd been holed up there too long while Jose and I scouted the job that never was. I chased the bastard. And he nearly fell off a cliff. I spared him and he gave me an ink pen. I hope I won't regret my leniency, but I reckon he got the scare of his life. Jimmy Brooks was his name. Wonder if that'll be the last we'll see of Jimmy Brooks. Wild Carrots. Uh, met some old drunken valentine claimed he was a shootist seemed more like a clown some poor fool was writing a book about him or trying to levin was the name of the writer jim calloway was the killer apparently levin needs more information ask me to find a few folk who have spent more time in publicity than me and knew old jim back when he was a real killer their names are emmett granger flacco hernandez billy midnight and black bell okay so we already know that um Sound like a troop of clowns. We shall see what kinds of people those who want to be famous murderers is. My hopes are not too high. 
Okay, so that's still talking about those outlaws in the photos. We got some oregano, um, some of the burdock root, wild mint, and that's it. Okay, so our journal's updated. I think that's really cool. <coughs> you know, when we discover new things, he just does like a little sketch. Very immersive. Nice little touch. Nice little touch. All right. Um, okay, what are we doing, folks? What should we do? All right, thanks, Sniper, for hanging out. Really appreciate it. You have a good sleep, and we'll uh, catch you when we catch you later. Yeah, he does love to sketch, doesn't he? It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, he he like him some some hog. All right, you know what? That uh, that whole sheriff's thing, man. That was some good money. Let's go back in here and see if there's another one. Good work, pal. We still gotta clean our horse, man. He is filthy. How do I, how do I switch to um, first person? I know there's a way to do it, but I can't remember what key it is. No, it's not that key. All right, let's go look at that really quick. Okay, so cinematic is V, cinematic shot change, focus camera. That's the in-game camera. Oh, wait. Is it just V? Oh, nice. Okay. Let me get through. You know, I'll tell you what. I probably... It might be easier to stay in first person, at least for some things, particularly, you know, when you're aiming the gun and stuff. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm glad we figured that one out. Okay, let's go. Does Sheriff have anything to say to us? Doesn't look like it. Go back in here for a second. Get on your way. I wonder what he's in jail for. You again. Best mind your ways around here or I'll be after you, you hear? All right, so he doesn't have anything else for us right now. I don't know, though, you guys. This first person's a little weird. It's, like, kind of bugging me out because he's, he's weaving and bobbing a little bit. I don't know. I think we're going to go back you to third person. Trials quick. <laughs> Maybe we'll try first person, you know, when we have to, like, aim the That's gun and right. stuff. You guys are rude, man. Well, you know what? We got I think we got enough money to buy the varmint gun. I look like I'm limping a little bit. I did get the tar beat out of me earlier, so maybe that's what it is. This guy got anything to say? Oh, there you are. So, what are you aiming for today? Okay, let's look at the catalog again. Now, let me have a look. You think we should go do the Reverend Swanson mission? Is that the one that's going to open up the stables for us? Okay, let's take a look at um, re uh, rifles, I guess. Is that the 20, where the 22 is, the varmint rifle? Okay. So we can afford this. Um, You'll see a few people in town with that, too. It should work towards that. Okay, we'll we'll do that next then. We'll do that next. Uh, but I think what I want to do is I'm going to buy this now, um, so we can see if we can get some nice hides for for selling. Or should I do that? I mean, that's going to use up a good portion of our money. Yeah, you know what? It's only money, right? Let's do it. Fine piece. Okay. Now, uh, do it's we a have... It's nice piece and all, but I'd personally Ooh. add some rifling. Take it or leave it. 
Okay, so yeah, we want to buy some. Um, I'd some recommend loading up on extra ammo. Farm yeah. cartridges, because I don't think we have any of those. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Okay, so let's see. Can we? You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. How much is that going to cost me? Twenty bucks? No way, man. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe later. I don't have that. That's all the money I got. Straight green, wide green. And yeah, we'll keep that the way it is. A leather wrap. Oh, that looks kind of nice. Yeah, this stuff's too expensive for us to, to do right now. We're going to have to go do some more bounties. Okay, so we got the rifle and we got the ammunition. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look and see what the compendium says about the varmint rifle here. This quick-firing Lancaster varmint rifle is designed for hunting small mammals and large birds using a special low-caliber type of ammunition with reduced damage. However, the large ammo capacity and fast fire rate make this an effective weapon against large groups of enemies. The gun has an ammo capacity of 14 rounds and can only use 22 caliber ammo. Got pretty good accuracy. Cool. Okay. Thanks, partner. So, our horse is still dirty as all get out. How did my health bar get all messed up? I thought we'd just fix that. Whoops. Okay. Hey, boy. Yeah, we <laughs> we've got to clean our horse up. Let's go down to the river. See, where's where is the Reverend Swanson's quest? Okay, so there's three things we can do back at the camp, and then Reverend Swanson's south of that. Caliban's seat. I think what we'll do is let's go back down the river. Let's get the, the horse cleaned up and maybe, uh, well, I don't know if we can follow the river here. That looks pretty steep, like pretty steep terrain, but I, was, I wanted to kind of just follow the river uh, around, but it doesn't look like we can do that. All right, well, let's just go down there first and see what happens. Let's get going. I think my hat will come back the next time I sleep. Unless, oh, you know what, though? We might actually have that in our our satchel. Let's take a look. No, I'm not seeing it in here. Uh, okay. Got more old Driscoll's causing trouble. Okay, fine brandy. Slightly restores stamina core and moderately restores deadite core. We only need health core right now, so. Slightly restores all cores. Yeah, let's let's eat some fish. Gritty fish. Hasty. Okay, so that gets our health core all the way back up. Okay, let's go get Tennessee cleaned up. Um, we were supposed to pick some more yarrow too, weren't we? Where did we find that at? I think that was yeah. over this way. That's wild carrot there. You know what? Those are mushrooms. I don't think we've discovered those yet. Okay. 
Parasol mushroom. Nice. What do we uh what do we use for that? Or use it for? Special horse reviver. Okay. Cool. So did he uh, make a sketch now in his journal? Let's take a look. Wild mint. No, he hasn't yet. Maybe he updates it like, you know, before he goes to bed at night or something. All right. Well, I'm sure we'll come across more Yara somewhere else. It's kind of was kind of like a reddish flower, I think, wasn't it? Couple things over here. Stamina level four, nice. Berries. Raspberries, nice. What do we make with those? Raspberry pie? Can we craft it into a potent herbivore bait? Ooh, nice, okay. Yeah, one of the things we can do with hunting is we can make bait to, you know, draw the critters in. Now, we saw something over here, too. Oh, that's oregano. Okay. Raspberry is a health herb. It can be eaten to refill your health core or craft it into predator bait. Nice. Oh, there's some yarrow right there. We have to pick four more of these to finish that, uh, that challenge. You can't carry any more yarrow? Oh, man. We're going to have to increase our storage space. You cannot stow all looted items as your satchel's full. Pearson can craft satchels with increased capacity. Okay, so I think we have to bring... Oh, right. We needed like a leather leatherworking kit or something like that. If I recall, but I don't remember seeing anything like that in town when we were at the general store. Let's look at our satchel here again for a second. Okay, that's horse cargo. Yeah, provisions are full. And it looks like this is where we're storing our, our stuff, too. We have a little bit of health core that's drained, so here, let's just eat this. That freed up one slot. Um, is Tennessee hungry? Go ahead and feed him. Well, we know one thing about Tennessee. He's dirty as all get out. Yeah. What weapon do I currently have equipped? We can put the, oh, that's the varmint rifle. Okay, let's put the, uh, the, the repeater there, and we'll put the varmint rifle here. Hey, uh, Nazrek, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. He's the he's the fellow you play uh, Minecraft with, right, Maruski? I oh, appreciate that. Welcome to the welcome to the stream, man. Appreciate that a whole lot. Is this um? Oh, yeah. There's something there too. That might be mint, though. Take a look. You're welcome, bud. Playing a little Red Dead here. Uh, that's buttercroot. Okay, so we already. Already had that. Oh, look at this guy. He's over here fishing. Let's go ask him if anything's biting. Oh, here's a new plant. 
cattail. Common bulrush. Hey, where are you going? What did he run off for? He seems a little irritated about something. Hopefully he stays put. I don't know why he ran off like that. Let's see if this guy will talk to us. I want to get a fishing pole. Hello. Howdy, fella. How's the fishing? Let's just let's just wait a second and see if he gets a bite. Nazrak, how do you is that how you pronounce your name? Nazrak, have you uh, have you played this game before? Naruski, have you tried this game? I know you played uh, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance for a while. This game is similar to that in in just kind of the open world uh, immersiveness part of it. But of course, you know it's Old West themed instead of medieval themed. Yeah, it is. I, I'm really enjoying it. All right, well, it looks like uh, he's not uh, going to get a bite. Maybe the NPCs don't actually get bites um, with the fish. I don't know. So let's get our horse cleaned up. So am I supposed to... He's not probably not going to be pleased that I'm <laughs> going to bathe my horse right in his fish hole. But, uh, oh, well. Am I supposed to lead the horse into the water to clean him up? Because it doesn't seem to work when I just ride him in there. Oi. I probably need a bath myself. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I hear ducks. All right, doesn't appear to be cleaning them. Where are you going, Tennessee? What keeps freaking him out? Does, does he not like water or something? Okay, sir. Okay, so let's ride him into the water and just sit here for a moment and just see what happens. You getting cleaner? There's a fish right there. Look at that thing. Can we shoot that? Oh, 
wow, okay. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> okay. I don't think we're going to be able to get that fish. If Tennessee ain't getting cleaned now, though, I don't know what's going to clean him. This is a little dangerous. I gotta, I'm got i just going to throw that out there. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Hey, Tennessee, are you clean now, buddy? He looks clean to me. Come here, man. <laughs> if that horse ain't clean, I don't know what's going to clean him. Whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. See, um, I hit the S key to slow the horse down, but you're actually supposed to hit the control key, so I'm not quite used to that. That's why... You know, when you guys see me crash into things, you you know, you think I'm drunk. That's not what it is. Okay, so the horse is getting his health back, and he looks he looks cleaner to me. What do you think, Maru? Do you think he's clean? Looks clean? He's woke. It's a nice looking horse. Oh, you know, uh, okay, but I still want to, I'm also trying to learn the game, though, too, you know, so that's partly why I'm doing this. He looks and smells clean. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap up the episode here, and we're going to pick it up right where we left off. And um, the next plan is for us to go... Uh, do uh, the Reverend Swanson quest, which is down at Lacknick Station, because these guys in the uh, on the stream are telling me that that's a good quest for us to do next. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I want to stop off at our camp, though, on the way back and talk to um, to Pearson about and, and find out what we got to do to get our, our, our satchel enlarged, because, you know, we don't have a lot of space. And maybe what we could also do is see if we can... Uh, craft some some stuff with our herbs, like make a tonic or something to, you know, to do that as well. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Remember not to leave me any spoilers, but tips and tricks are certainly appreciated. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.